Hi, it's my time to shine. See, my nails is all about the chakras. You may not notice. Head chakra, heart chakra. See, that's what's going on in my life. And somebody else was like, you got all the chakra colors almost. I said, yep. Got to see my feet. I am doing a oracle read for the sign of Leo. You want to take what resonates. You want to leave the rest. I'm not using no tarot. I'm just going to let the universe, whatever comes out, I'm going to tell you because there are meanings to everything already. And then I'll explain a little bit in my type of format. And then that's about it. So this is going to be for December the 25th. What is the energy surrounding Leo's for December the 25th? Divine, what do they need to know? Thank you. What's the energy surrounding? Okay. The only cards I will be reading reversals is only the love energy. And that one word, chakras. What is the... What is the energy surrounding Leo for December the 25th? It's like they trying to come, but they ain't coming. What's the energy surrounding December 25th? As far as the Leo, too many cards. Okay, great. Take that. What is the energy? Okay. I'll take that. What it wait, 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 let me see some. Okay. What's the damn? Take that once it's a fail. And we're going to go here. What is the energy surrounding? Okay. A lot of people got that card. Last not least. Oh, we already did that. I'm done. Okay. It says you are going through some tough shit right now. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. This is my rebel deck. So you may be going through something right now, but I just did a reading for y'all. And y'all was messing with that black magic. And I just told y'all, it comes back to bite you in your ass. Especially if you don't know about magic and spells and potions. A lot of people don't. I do. So like if you don't know how, you know how to do it, but don't know how to get that shit off of you. To keep it off of you. Because you got to make sure it's not on you. Because it don't hit right away when it's on you. So, you may be going through something because you, you put yourself in a situation. That's not for every Aries. Excuse me. They talking about me. It cracked the hell up. <laughs> I believe so. That's not for every um Leo. Take what resonate. Leave the rest. You got the sword and rose reversed. Clarity, truth, re revelation, force, honor, protection, and power. So you got the sword and rose, and this is like basically with the sword and rose. This is kind of like um, this is like the um, swords represent air signs, Gemini, and Libra, Aquarius. But you got it reversed, saying clarity, truth. You coming up out of the truth and getting clarity of a situation. Like you just not being honest about something. You got the affirmation card that says gentleness. I speak with gentleness and I listen with gentleness. I align my gentleness with a part of myself and I take joy in being receptive, open, and unafraid. I am like a baby deer whose best friend was a baby elephant. The baby elephant wraps its little trunk around my shoulders and we lie down gently on the grass, daydreaming and talking about what sorts of humans the clouds look like. So it's telling you you need to be more kinder. And this is not for every Leo because I know some kind Leos. But this resonates for somebody. As I say, take what resonates and leave the damn rest. You got abundance planning. Number one. That is a new beginning. Basically, it's time for you to write down shit. Write down your manifestations. Write down what you plan. Write down what you want to talk to the divine. Write down your, how you want to manifest. 
I'm not going to give you the tips on manifestations. You're going to have to go on YouTube and Google to find out because everybody manifests differently. And it's telling you, number one is for the new year. It's telling you that's what you need to do. You also have, look at both sides of the situation. Do not have to, you do not have to agree, but at least be understanding. So it's something that's going on that you're only looking at it in one way. Like my a closed-minded type of situation. Like I'm going to example, if you put a spell on somebody or a love potion on somebody and something turned the other way, you're looking at it a different way. You're not looking at it as, oh, well, I did this. To even make that happen and look at what's going on in my life that's what i'm trying to say like just be real within yourself you got fuck fear it will lie to your face so you may be going through something where you scared of something or something is coming back and it's biting you your ass and you worry you got whatever you are thinking about don't do it that's what i'm saying like you may be still on whatever you want and saying don't do it now is not the fucking time and it ain't it ain't the time for to be doing negative shit to somebody or not even that even even talking about somebody negative or doing something negative or trying to be slick because i'm i'm told you y'all just we just reading leo y'all just i just did a reading of y'all and it's telling you yeah y'all about to go through something because y'all did something and it's coming back to bite y'all but hey who am i I guess I just make it up. At the end of the day, peace, light, and blessings to all. And I just wish everybody the best. This is for Leo, so December the 25th. I was about to say October. October might be significant for somebody. But it is what it is.